Right now, a Grant County community comes together to mourn the passing of a beloved high school basketball referee. Why they say his impact went far beyond the court. And it's been one year since the first COVID death in the U.S. A look back at how that number rose from one to nearly half a million. And later, Aaron Rodgers is the NFL's MVP again. A look back at the Packers QB's historic season and find out the secret that he revealed. This is News 3 Now at 10. Thanks for joining News 3 Now at 10. I'm Amanda Quintana. Bitter cold is staying in the area tonight. This is a live look at the Capitol from our Edgewater Sky Cam. You can't see the cold, but you can definitely feel it outside. And it can be dangerous if you're spending too much time outside this weekend. Let's get a look at your first warm weather with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canulty feeling that cold. I certainly am, Amanda. Fortunately, again, I'm protected by the building here a little bit, so I don't feel uh, any breeze. In fact, the air in Madison right now is calm, but uh, everywhere else, uh, any kind of a breeze drops the wind chill quickly. Time lapse from the WIC Skycam shows bright sunshine this morning, then clouds moved in this afternoon. A weather system passing to our south brought a few flurries for areas well south of Madison, but then the sky started to clear as we headed towards sunset. That weather system that brought a couple of inches of snow across parts of northern Illinois, now mush moving through Michigan and Indiana and away from us and allowing the skies to clear. Last night, low temperatures were down below zero through most of southern Wisconsin. Janesville bottomed out at zero, but here in Madison, we're four, four below. High temperatures only in the single digits above zero. Madison, eight. Janesville, nine. Only five in Viroqua. And right now, temperatures are in the single digits below zero, close to the low for the day. Already down to seven below zero in La Crosse and nine below zero in Decorah, Iowa. Factor in the winds, and we're seeing wind chills out to our west in the 20 to 25 below zero range. A few places in northern Wisconsin already hitting 30 below zero. Wind chill advisory in effect until noon tomorrow for all of southern Wisconsin. For tomorrow, we start out with about a low Low temperature of around 14 below zero in Madison. Wind chills could be as cold as 30 to 35 below zero in spots. Our high temperature tomorrow getting up to barely above zero at two with partly sunny skies. Wind chills will remain below zero all day and get used to it because we have alert days in the forecast for the rest of next week, next weekend, and into Monday of the following week. All right, thank you so much, Gary. Thousands paid their respects today to a longtime coach, referee, and friend. Adam Duxter visited Muscaday and shares how one person impacted tens of thousands of lives for the better. The gym at St. John in Muscaday Saturday was at capacity, not for a game, but rather for someone who transcended it. Always teaching, always coaching, always uplifting people. Energetic, so, mm -hmm. you know, great friend, Christian. To those who knew him well, he was Tracy. To his students, Mr. Krieger. And to his athletes, Coach K. But no matter what you called him, you could always call Tracy Krieger a friend. If you walked down the halls at school and you saw this gentleman bounding down and he would say to you, it's a great day to be a chieftain, you would have a smile on your face and the rest of your day was beautiful because that was Tracy. He lightened up everybody's day with that smile. A zest for life, a heart for his wife and three children, a devotion for his faith in those around him. All of these things earned Tracy Krieger a reputation that transcended his community of southwestern Wisconsin. And what always impressed me about Tracy was that he had such a drive, such an enthusiasm, such a spirit about him that he, he engaged you, whether you were his players or his students, and he made you want to learn and just be your best that you could be. On Monday, the longtime WIAA referee passed away while doing what he loved, suffering a heart attack on the court during a high school basketball game. But today, the thousands sharing a gym with him one last time are celebrating the way he lived. He'll always be an inspiration. He really will. While honoring his legacy of life, love, and positivity. And we went by the where you turn to go to the school, and Riverdale has a big school sign there, a digital sign, and it says, it's a great day to be a chieftain. And that's his quote that belongs to him. And our community will live on that for a long, long time. In Muscaday, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. During the Wisconsin Badgers game on Tuesday night, the team saved a courtside seat for Krieger. Head coach Greg Gard said after the game, he too was coached by Coach Krieger at camps in the 1980s.
The teenager charged in last weekend's deadly shooting at a Grand Chute Mall has been extradited to Wisconsin. Authorities say 17-year-old Desmond Ellis was arrested in Des Moines, Iowa on Thursday. He was booked into the Outagamie Jail in Appleton shortly before midnight yesterday. Ellis is accused of killing a 19-year-old at Fox River Mall last Sunday after an argument over an ex-girlfriend. A second victim was treated for gunshot wounds. Ellis waived his right to an extradition hearing in Iowa yesterday. OSHA is investigating a workplace accident that left a Janesville employee dead yesterday. Janesville police just released the details of the incident today, saying it happened just before 4 o'clock at a business on Barbary Drive. The employee was struck by a skid steer that was removing snow from that property and later died at a hospital. There are fewer than 1,000 new coronavirus cases in Wisconsin over the past day. DHS data shows an increase of only 934 new cases. That's the second fewest in any day since Christmas. 32 more people have died, while nearly 160,000 Wisconsinites have finished their two-dose vaccination series. While the COVID-19 pandemic continues to rage across the U.S., we're feeling relief from other respiratory illnesses. So far this season, UW Health has treated one patient for influenza. By this time last year, that number was 971, and in 2019, it was 149. Doctors say it's important to recognize that no two flu seasons are the same, but the CDC shows that there's minimal activity of influenza throughout the country. Doctors say the actions we take to protect ourselves from COVID-19 are also protecting us from other viruses. Viruses travel with people, so all the measures that have been put in place to reduce COVID-19 are also helping influenza. And because it's less transmissible than COVID, the measures are pretty effective against it. Doctors say the only downside to a mild flu season like this one is that it makes it difficult to predict which strain might be popular next year, and that affects our vaccine planning. Today is one year since the first known COVID-19 death in the U.S. Since that day, hundreds of thousands of lives have been lost. But coronavirus vaccines are giving new hope. Melissa Rainey explains. This is not a trivial issue. This virus has enormous capabilities of spreading like wildfire. In the span of one year, the United States has gone from one confirmed COVID-19 death to more than 460,000. That's according to Johns Hopkins University. The deaths cover all 50 states and range in age from infants to the elderly. Los Angeles County has seen the most deaths from COVID-19. Los Angeles County alone, we have 10 million uh, uh, estimated population. If Los Angeles is the epicenter for COVID-19, then my district is in fact ground zero when it comes to uh, infections as well as deaths. Some promising news. The latest numbers from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention show just over 39 million vaccine doses have been administered. With efforts moving forward at a seven-day average rate of about 1.3 million shots a day nationwide. When a vaccine becomes available to you, Get vaccinated. You will not only be protecting yourself, your family, but you will be making a major step in a positive way to protecting the community. Getting vaccinated hasn't proved to be an easy task for some, but a new federal effort to speed up vaccinations will allow thousands of pharmacies like CVS and Walgreens to give the shot nationwide. That should begin in some states in the coming week. I'm Melissa Rainey reporting. Health experts are asking people to continue to avoid large gatherings, specifically those planning Super Bowl parties tomorrow. China's drug regulator has given approval to a new COVID vaccine called Coronavac, but it's facing questions over its efficacy. Health officials say there is a lack of transparency around clinical trial data. Coronavac is the second vaccine to receive approval for mass inoculation in China. Experts at UW Health are asking people to be vigilant when it comes to the vaccine. They say detecting misinformation about the shots can be a challenge, but as the lies spread, either intentionally or unintentionally, they can undermine efforts to vaccinate the entire population. And I hope the public understands that the reason why that was so quick is really because this is an emergency. There was a lot of cooperation between scientists, government leaders, different countries, and a lot of volunteers that stepped up to volunteer for these trials to be able to make this happen. Experts say common myths about the vaccine are that it can alter a person's DNA, it contains a microchip for tracking, and it causes infertility in women. All of those are false. 
Doctors also say while some people can still test positive for COVID-19 after getting a vaccine, the vaccine itself will not give you an infection. For almost a year, restaurant workers have been praised as part of our essential workforce and legal protections for essential workers to ensure a safe workplace in a pandemic exists, but the enforcement often lags far behind. One person died after a COVID-19 outbreak at a Rock County restaurant in November. Reports about people working while sick didn't result in citations or on-site visits from the health department. Whether at a local level or from agencies like OSHA, advocates and legal experts say enforcement of COVID safety protocols is an ongoing problem. Oftentimes employers are feeling emboldened because they know that OSHA isn't going to come and shut them down and their local health departments aren't going to come in and shut them down. What are the breakdowns that happen when workers say they have to choose between jobs and health? We'll explain tomorrow in Unprotected, a News 3 investigation that's tomorrow night after the Super Bowl. President Biden visited the doctor's office this afternoon. Biden's physician says it was a regularly scheduled x-ray. It comes 10 weeks after the then president-elect fractured his foot playing with his dog, Major. The physician says Biden's symptoms have improved and he's adhering to a physical therapy regimen. Biden sat down this week with CBS Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell in his first television interview since being sworn in. In that interview, Biden says he's open to compromise with Republicans on who receives a $1,400 stipend. Stimulus check. You said you're not compromising on the $1,400 checks. You no. made that promise. You're sticking to it. So the big question is who gets exactly the check? Exactly right. Is it someone who makes up to $50,000 or is it someone who makes up to $75,000? I'm prepared to negotiate that, but here's the deal. Middle class folks need help. But you don't need to get any help to someone making 300,000 bucks or 250. So it's somewhere between an individual making up to 75 and phasing out and a couple making up to 150 and it's phasing out. You can watch all of Nora O'Donnell's exclusive interview with President Biden right here on CBS tomorrow, just before the Super Bowl. There's more ahead on News 3 Now at 10. Gary has another look at your first one forecast. Plus, for millions of Americans, Super Bowl Sunday is about the food. See how a local delivery company is making you feel good about ordering in tomorrow. I like the moment, moment. I like the moment. Ready to move on from workouts like this? Now through February 11th, Joint Planet Fitness for no enrollment, $10 a month, no commitment. With all this variety, you can move it in our clean and spacious clubs. And use the crowd meter in our app for the best time to visit, so you can work out with plenty of room to move. America, your fitness is essential. Join for no enrollment, $10 a month, no commitment. Deal ends February 11th. Five Madison area locations. Sign up for $10 a month. Stop in today. Winter in Wisconsin means snow, blustering winds, and some zero temperatures. Will your insulation keep your home warm? Frank Construction can always help. We're your roofing and insulation pros. We'll find cracks at air pathways in your insulation that are letting in the icy cold and hindering your comfort. With our thermal imaging and cutting-edge insulation techniques, you'll be sure that your home will be warm and energy efficient for many years to come. Visit frankconstruction.com today and prepare your home for the long winter. Dear Winter, I'm coming. My squad of 15 vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of my game, so you better bundle up, Toyota. Right now, get $1,500 customer cash on a new 2021 Highlander Hybrid. Visit Toyota.com to learn more. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Nice sleep center, Bob. But what is a Bobopedic? I could tell you, but I'd rather show you. Oh, Bob's got a feel for your budget. They deliver right to your door. With 30 years of sleep experience, the best warranty, and so much more. Bob's Bobopedic, from your head down to your feet, it feels like no mattress you felt before. Wow! Uh. Uh oh. Bob's Bobopedic. Well, it's almost game day. We take a look at Super Bowl 55 and how COVID has changed the way we celebrate. For us, Dana is tracking our next set of alert days. Join us Sunday morning starting at 630.
Waking up to stuff like this should never be a surprise. Download the Channel 3000 First Warn app and be ready for whatever Mother Nature throws our way. A COVID outbreak at a Rock County restaurant kills a popular employee. When people called and complained and said, hey, stuff ain't being done here properly. Nobody wants to listen. Nobody wants to do anything until it's after the fact. News 3 now investigates Sunday after the Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday is always a busy day for local restaurants and food delivery services between the pandemic and dangerous cold temperatures. This year, it's expected to be even busier. As you're planning your game day menu, Christina Laurie shares the new program delivering deals with a side of charity. Nothing says football like wings. This weekend, you can feel good about gorging and ordering out during the big game. It's your last chance to participate in Wing Week and try Trent's Rip Rip Chicken, a vintage brewing company classic, or wings from the other 40 participating restaurants. Wing Week is an awesome way to support Madison restaurants. Also feel good about what you're doing because you're giving back to Cook It Forward and try some dishes that you actually can't try any other time. For every wing order placed through each street this weekend, the delivery service is donating $1 to Cook It Forward, a local nonprofit that donates restaurant quality meals to families who can't otherwise afford them. The community really needs to rally around um, local charities like that. 22 local restaurants are offering wings, not usually on their menus. It's a really exciting way for chefs to be a little creative, try something new, despite how hard the last year has been. In addition to those game day classics. It's hard to beat the nachos, man. So if you're still looking for a sign that yes, you should order out this weekend. You're not going to get that like extra crispy, the sauces won't be right unless you order from that place that you love. Chicken and chips with a side of charity. Is there anything better? Our nachos are just piled high and huge and they got real cheese on them and cheese sauce and all, and all the goodies. In added bonus, each street is waiving its delivery fee for Wing Week. You can order online or on the Eat Street app. In Madison, I'm Christina Laurie. New tonight, four skiers are dead after an avalanche in Utah. Mill Creek police say four other people were able to dig themselves out and survive. Everyone involved was between the ages of 23 and 38. Police say one of the survivors did have hypothermia. They were the first one taken off of the mountain. It's a beautiful day, um, absolutely beautiful day. Sun was shining, um, pretty warm out. And I'm sure that's, you know, what these people were out, just enjoying the sunshine and the beautiful weather and thought they'd go for a great ski. And had it have it ended in a tragedy like this. Local authorities say the snow slide shouldn't come as a surprise. The National Weather Service warned of high avalanche danger early this morning. Let's get a look at your first warned weather with Gary Canalti. We've got the cold and it is sticking around. It certainly is. In fact, we have alert days in the forecast, not only for next week, but for next weekend and into Monday of the following week for wind chills in the morning that could be as cold anywhere from 10 to 35 below zero. There are a couple of days where we could be at 40 below zero or even colder, especially toward the end of next week, depending on uh, what the winds turn out to be after a storm system moves through on Thursday. Daytime wind chills will also stay below zero, so you really don't even get any relief relief from the cold during the day. Doppler track right now, free of precipitation across Wisconsin. There was some light snow to our south across northern Illinois. A few flurries made it into far southern Wisconsin. That snow now into Michigan and Indiana and moving away from us. Wind chill advisories in effect until uh, noon tomorrow for much of Wisconsin. Wind chill warnings in effect to our south and also to the north. Some of these warnings go until Tuesday morning, especially up in uh, northern portions of Minnesota and North Dakota. Wind chills there could get down to 40 to 50 below zero. At that point, you're talking frostbite in just a couple of minutes to expose skin. Current temperatures are below zero through much of the state away from Lake Michigan. Milwaukee still at seven above, but everybody else, all the other major reporting stations below zero. Rhinelander down to 11 below zero, Superior at 12 below zero, and then you factor in the winds. We're seeing wind chills now in the 20s and 30s below zero to our north and to our west, and these wind chills unfortunately will continue to fall. And the bulk of the coldest air may not arrive until the end of next week. Upper air pattern, this is where the center of the cold air mass is up in central Canada. That's the polar vortex with the jet stream winds swirling around it. We're just getting a taste of that cold air, but watch as we put the uh, maps into motion. The jet stream continues to sag to the south, and then the bulk of the cold air starts moving southward into southern Canada by Wednesday. Look what happens after that. It starts to rotate in and is just to our north and west by early Saturday morning. That's when we could see our coldest wind chills. Eventually, it modifies a little bit and pushes off to the east, but temperatures stay well below normal in through the first part of next week. It could be followed by a snowmaker by about Tuesday. Weather track right now shows upper 
lower-level winds coming in from the northwest, but eventually they become more northerly and come right out of central Canada, right from that, that cold air mass. Uh, right now, you can see uh, the, it looks like cloud cover, but that's actually the cold air being detected by the heat sensors on the satellite. That's how it detects where clouds are at night. On future track, notice the sky is clearing out overnight and those temperatures dropping to around 15 below zero. So wind chill advisory is in effect until noon tomorrow. Look for an overnight low temperature of about 14 below zero in Madison. Wind chill is perhaps as cold as 30 to 35 below zero. And then for tomorrow, a high of only two above and wind chills staying below zero all day. Future track wind chills tomorrow morning, they start out in the mid 20s below zero. Even during the afternoon, only get up into the single digits below zero and then back down to about 10 to 20 below zero by Monday morning. <laughs> the, the 10 day forecast, again, alert days all the way across the board pretty much. We have some light snow in the forecast for uh, Monday. Could be some accumulating snow Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. And then as we see temperatures rebound, maybe a weather system bringing snow by Tuesday of the following week. And it's really next weekend that we could see that, that wind chill get really, really cold. Right. If the skies clear out, everything's got to come together. But we could see even colder wind chills that we have right now in the forecast. Oh, all right. Thank you so much, Gary. And coming up in sports, Aaron Rodgers named the MVP of the league for the third time. The elite company number 12 joined tonight. That's next in sports with Zach. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Do you take daily prescription pain medications, but they don't help enough? Do you want more options to better manage chronic pain? University of Wisconsin-Madison Stamp Study offers free, safe, therapeutic programs to address chronic pain. The programs occur once a week for eight weeks and pays up to $340. Call 608-212-6902 today. Again, that's 608-212-6902. It's a fact. We use our internet and TV more than ever, with most of us spending nearly seven hours a day online. So it's no wonder thousands of families are switching to Spectrum, because most families have up to eight connected devices, which means they need even more speed. Switch to Spectrum Internet and get the fastest starting speeds for the price. 200 megabits for just $44.99 a month, with a free modem and free security suite included. Call 833-546-4499. When it comes to TV, we're watching more than ever. In fact, 80% of us watch TV every day. Spectrum TV lets you catch all your favorite sports, news, and more live. Plus, download the free Spectrum TV app and watch on your devices. Switch to Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-546-4499. The fact is, Spectrum has the best services at the best price. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. We'll even buy out your current contract. Call 833-546-4499. At U.S. Cellular, we're building a powerful 5G network that works without interruption in the places you wouldn't expect. And with every plan at U.S. Cellular, you get access to 5G at no additional charge. So no matter where you are, U.S. Cellular's network always keeps you connected in the places you need it most. At U.S. Cellular, all of our plans include 5G and get unlimited data for just $30 a month with four lines. U.S. Cellular. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison 2021. Get ready to nominate your favorites online for Best of Madison in over 140 categories. Nominations open February 1st. Learn more at madisonmagazine.com. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Accurate news as it happens. We need more vaccine to be allocated to our state. Right here, where you live. In 2022, we should hopefully have a new and improved belt line. Information that you can use. Water backup is not part of the standard homeowner's insurance coverage. From the team you can trust. This bomb was placed in a way that really could have hurt people. For more local stories that impact your life, News 3 Now.
Five players in NFL history have won three or more NFL MVP awards. Aaron Rodgers just made that number six. The Packers quarterback was named the league's most valuable player for the third time in his career, first since 2014, and there really wasn't any doubt. He set franchise records in touchdown passes and completion percentage. Rodgers is the first Packer to win three MVPs since the old gunslinger himself, Brett Favre, did it. Speaking of the Packers, Charles Woodson is heading to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Woodson spent seven of his 18 years in the league in Green Bay, and during his time in Lambeau, he was a nightmare for opposing offenses. As a Packer, he picked off 38 passes, forced 15 fumbles, scored 10 touchdowns. He was named the Defensive Player of the Year and won Super Bowl 45. The last time Wisconsin faced Illinois, the Badgers left the Kohl Center with a one-point loss in a game they controlled basically from the opening tip. So revenge was definitely on their minds today, but it was another Saturday of making Greg Gard's face look like that. Wisconsin trailed by 13 at the half, battled back in the second. Demetric Trice takes it hard to the rack for two plus one, and that lead is down to seven. But every time they'd get close, Illinois would go and do this. Kofi Coughburn, sla Coburn slams it home. He had 23. Badgers shot under 17% from three-point range and lose at Illinois for the first time since 2011. You got to make shots, though. You got to perform. You know, when the lights are on, you got to produce. So we can, I mean, you have to work all the time defensively, especially against the really good teams. So that's, that's not going to change as we face other opponents, but... When you have shots, you know, if they're good ones, knock them down. Bucks and Cavs playing each other on back-to-back -back nights, and this is all you need to see and how the game went. Giannis put Cleveland on a poster. 24 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, and 1 big dunk. Milwaukee wins it by 25 points. Earlier in the week, Wisconsin said this weekend is all about sweeping Minnesota. And after last night, the Badgers are halfway there and one step closer to the top spot in the conference standings. And in game two, UW started red hot. Roman Ashan has been a puck magnet for the Badgers. Last night, he bounced the goal in off his helmet. This time, he deflected another one in to put the Badgers up 1-0. He scored two tonight, and then minutes later, Cole Caulfield finds teammate Dylan Holloway, and he finds the back of the net to light the lamp. Badgers skate into first place with an 8-1 win. Same two schools going at it on the women's side. Badgers looking for their second straight sweep of the Gophers this season, and it looked promising in the second period. Maddie Wheeler cleans up the mess in front of the net. Wisconsin up 2-0, but Minnesota would come back, send it into overtime. Officially, it would end in a tie, but the Gophers win in a shootout and get a point in the standings. Top-ranked Wisconsin volleyball looking to stay perfect on the year, and they came out swinging against Rutgers. Badgers set up Daniel Harms, and she drops the hammer down. UW would win the first set with ease. And then in the second set, just watch out. Molly Haggerty sends it right back to the Scarlet Knights. Badgers take this one in straight sets. Uh, Amanda, probably the biggest news of the night, she Aaron Rodgers, really. during his acceptance speech of the MVP, announced that he was engaged. And remember, we just talked about him uh, dating Shailene, Shailene Woodley. Woodley. I had to look it up because I couldn't remember who it was. But <laughs> And this, wow. I just heard about them dating like yeah, three like, days ago. Yeah, that's this, when this the news shocker. broke and then he just made us all look silly and broke some more news. <laughs> that, yeah, everyone was expecting the MVP. No one was expecting that. Yeah. So, all right, Well, I guess he's getting a ring this year. Yeah, some, some ring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Zach. We'll be right back. old to count down the days, but my ski trip to Cascade Mountain with my cousin each year, so much fun. We used to pretend like we were flying. Now, we really do. My dad and my uncle like that we still <laughs> ski free, but Noah and I, we just have fun. See you there. It's time to upgrade your downtime. It's time for Stressless. Now at the Century House. Go from one grade of leather to a higher one for free. Or save $300 on Stressless Sunrise Recliners. Don't wait. Save hundreds on Stressless Comfort. At the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. 
It's time for the Great American Sales Event at your local Ford store. To celebrate, we're offering 1,000 President's Day cash on top of other offers on Ford F-150. With deals on America's workhorse, now's a great time to buy. Hurry in or shop online before February 15th. For a limited time, get 1,000 President's Day cash on a 2020 Ford F-150 for $7,250 in total value. Celebrate during the Great American Sales Event going on now. prices? Then get more ways to save at Pick and Save, where you can find personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. All for prices that are lower than low. On food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. Did you know that 178 million Americans are missing at least one tooth? It's true. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we only focus on tooth replacement solutions. Whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or dental implants, we have an experienced dentist who can create a new smile just for you. At a price that's affordable. Because at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we want you to go, go ahead, ahead and, and smile. When we hear a big storm's headed our way, some of us fall back into bed. Some into fresh powder. Spending your day indoors or out, it's all about knowing what to expect. Watch News 3 Now for an accurate first worn forecast so you can plan your perfect day. Go to Amazon.com skills to enable Channel 3000 news briefs. Well, wind chill advisory is in effect for all of southern Wisconsin through noon tomorrow. Temperatures right now single digits below zero, but it feels about 15 to 20 degrees colder than that. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great night.